My name is Neve Murphy. I work in the southeast of Ireland and I'm going to do my best to not speak too quickly. People always say that Irish people talk too quickly, so I'll do my best. So a little bit about me, first of all, um, I, am, I work in a third level institution and my specialism is public health and physical activity. That's my, my day job. But my, my passion lies in sport and in physical activity generally. So I'm a participant myself, an ex-athlete. I currently do some triathlon. I coach a group of young people. And really what I'm going to say today about the whole area of mental well-being is very much born out of my own experience as much as my research. So I'm very much going to focus on the practical part of, of the value of sport for, for well-being. Um, so the whole notion of well-being, I'm not going to spend too long talking about definitions of what I understand or what we could understand by mental health. It's, it's easy to get bogged down in, in all of that. Um, but you know, there's no one single definition, but it encompasses a sense of feeling good about ourselves, ability to deal with the ups and downs of life or feeling of connection with the people around us and the places around us um, and having some sense of control, some sense of purpose um, within our lives. And it doesn't mean that we feel happy all the time. Um, it doesn't mean that hard things won't come our way, but hopefully physical activity and sport, I firmly believe that it can help us to navigate the difficulties that we do face in life and to really get the most out of what we, what we do in life. I just started with this little quote, Marcus O'Sullivan is a very famous Irish runner. He is the only person in the world to run more than 100 sub four minute miles uh, on the track. Very famous guy. Um, and he was just interviewed there recently and he said, you know, everyone spends too much time on the athletic procedure and doesn't take enough time to consider the environment, the attitude, the psychological approach. And when we're talking about mental well-being in sport, uh, I, I really do feel that it is about the environment that we create for the people that we work with, be they young people or at any age. And uh, a good friend of mine who's a coach, he always starts off anything he does in coaching, but with this little quote saying, you know, if I want to coach Anne athletics, I need to know athletics, but I need to know Anne. And I think most importantly, I need to know Anne, get to know the individual. And sometimes, especially maybe with young people who are 14 or 15 or 16, that might they might feel awkward about that. And, it, you know, it doesn't mean that we have to spend lots of time necessarily getting to know them, but generating that sense of belonging and so that they feel that they genuinely are a valued member of the group. Um, and I think that it can really go a long way. So here's just some pictures of our group. Um, it's a mixed group, different ages, boys and girls and you know the, with, I do a lot of this time of year cross-country running in Irish weather plenty of rain plenty of muck and it's not always easy but once the the atmosphere is there it doesn't matter about the weather so in small ways trying to foster the the connection the chances to talk to each other um, and, and I like having a mixed group of ages and abilities and I think it works really really well um, but people look out for each other a little bit connect with each other during sessions so in terms of some short tips and trips uh, tricks I just have loads of E's here and loads of F's and the F's of course fun fun Fun, fun in as much as possible and it doesn't matter what age I think we're dealing with if we're really I, I, my philosophy is we try and keep people involved and the way we do that and with that we make people feel happy uh, and engaged is uh, I, I think that you know realizing that this particular sport especially in something like athletics which can be very individual based you know it's not the end of the world if you have a bad race it doesn't matter it doesn't make us think any differently about you. You're still a great person. Um, and it's not, you know, winning or performing well. Uh, in point of that definition of even what performing well is, is one that we could chat about. So I'm really trying to empower them, teach them about 
why we're doing certain things and, and, and you know, trying to learn as we as we go. Um, we try and treat everybody equal, equally. It doesn't matter if they're the gold will the gold medal winning individual in the group or if they're a beginner and have never run before. It does not matter. And making sure, though, that that pervades down through everything that we actually do in the session. And it's challenging. Um, I coach the group with my husband, Noel. So we're always kind of reflecting in with ourselves on, on the philosophy and making sure that we uh, are genuinely, you know, walking the walk as well as talking the talk. So and that's not always easy. I'm not for one minute saying it is because we're part time coaches um, it, it, it isn't always easy, but just even to keep on checking in with oneself about this uh, and that it is just edging forward. It's not about being perfect uh, at any at any all the time. And just to kind of mention that the, the group that I mentioned, I'm talking about here, I really do think that high performance and a good environment can happily coexist. I just have a couple of pictures here um, from the group and many of our athletes have progressed through the junior ranks and have uh, represented Ireland and, and, and further in major championships. And that's super. And it really, it, it, it's great within the group. And I, I, the, the pictures that you see, the athletes that are on here, none of them, if you had, had gone to any of them at the age of 12 or 13, there is no way that anybody would have picked them out as the future uh, type high performers in our group. And they've been wonderful. They join our group every time they come home. They're now living in the States and many other places. And they come back and they join in again. And um, one of the, the girl at the top is, is happens to be my daughter. Um, but they, they they get the ethos um, and I th just think it's really, really important and that sense of uh, being involved and giving back is 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 really rewarding for, for everybody. So I know that Hannah and Glone are going to talk later on about the ABCs of mental health and I really like this model. I think it's great. So, you know, doing something, being active in a group, belonging. So if there was one thing, it would be belonging. That was the, the one word that I, I will leave you with.